name is Aaron Chandler and you're watching Ko's Chai YouTube channel. The perfect place for theme park news, reviews and vlogs. After all, I've always got roller coasters running through my mind. <laughs> Hello there guys, my name is Aaron Chana, you're listening to Coaster Chow YouTube channel and watching Ghost Chow YouTube channel, Dog Coaster Born, but built for theme park news. And welcome to a theme park news update from Chessington World of Adventures. On th and this is on a brand new theme IP partnership for a relocation of the ride, um, the Flying Jumbos, uh, that's going to be taking place in a four year partnership through starting this season in 2020. So before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Make sure you share the channel around with your friends, family and on social media. And for now guys, let's get into this news update from Chessie to World of Adventures. Now, the next couple of years are going to be a bit of a, swaps, a, a swap shop. You remember the old show Swap Shop? Uh, first of all, look very uh, swagger there. <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, basically this next couple of years is going to be a bit of a swap shop. 2020 is set to be the home of a brand new mini log flume as well as a rerouted Tony's Crazy Cars. Now as well as that, for 2021 construction, Ramesses Revenge has been replaced with a brand new drop tower themed to crocodiles uh, from the concept tiles that we've seen already and I've already analysed that so make sure you go check out a video on that already. Uh, but as well as that, to coincide with uh, getting in and out of the site, they've got, they've got the Port Flying Jumbos in a brand new location. This new location is the old site of the old blue and white carousel. Now, of course, they've already got their newer carousel that opened back in 2017, uh, which is the Chessington Adventure Tree. Now, to coincide with Flying Jumbo's relocation, they've just announced, well, not just announced, because it's been out since the end of November. No idea. This is like the biggest um, sort of miss in the theme park newsroom ever. Like, I don't know why we've not seen this. Uh, but, um, Chessington have announced a four-year partnership with the Elmer uh, author. Now, Elmer's set to have a big year. Um, it's either this year or it was 2019 when Elmer celebrates its 30th anniversary. So to headline this anniversary, Elmer will be coming into Chessington World of Adventures as a four-year partnership IP re-theme for the Flying Jumbos to coincide with its relocation. Now this is Elmer's Flying Jumbo, so I'm going to put the logo on your screen now. Find out Aussie. And let's get the official press release then from uh, the park. So the park, um, the uh, marketing director at the park, Joanne Tesdale, officially states, we're delighted to be bringing to life another children's book here at the resort and introduce the first ever Elmer themed ride because that's one of the big traits, the first ever Elmer themed attraction in a theme park. Uh, Elmer is a natural fit for us here at Britain's Wildest Adventure and we can't wait to see families enjoy the patchwork elephant story in a brand new way. So that my friends is the official press release from Chessington World of Adventures uh, on the announcement of Elmer's Flying Jumbos, that is the name, I hope you love the logo as well, you, I hope you love the logo just as much as I do because it looks fantastic. Um, now, obviously, currently at the site, from what I've seen from closed updates, um, the foundations have sort of gone up on the adventure in the adventure point area, ready for the relocation to commence. Which means we are going to start seeing 2021 construction on the Ramesses Revenge site uh, as soon as Rockfine Jumbos has been relocated. So as soon as that's you know dismantled from its previous site and moved across to the uh, old carousel site in the adventure point, uh, we are going to then see. Uh, construction begin on the Ramesses Revenge site. Start to take down the top spin. Uh, we know it's well, I've seen on the web on a website it's up for sale. You know, as is Black Buccaneer. That looks in a terrible state, unfortunately, at the minute. Uh, so hopefully they get that sold at some point. I'd love to see it come back, but I think it's looking very unlikely. Like the boy at Alton Towers, it's looking very un unlikely that uh, it will come back, uh, and it looks very unlikely that something will replace that ride. Uh, this year at least. I think 2021 we could be looking at something but we don't know that as of yet. Same with the Blood of Alton Towers. I don't think we're going to see them to replace it this year. Um, I think we're looking at probably next year if we're going to look for a replacement for the Blade. Uh, hopefully with Chessington getting a drop tower in 2021 at Ramesses Revenge site. Uh, obviously Legoland Winds are doing their Lego Movie World kind of uh, re to a section of their park. 
uh, for 2021 as well. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that we um, get a new flat ride at Alton Towers to sort of coincide with the, the flat ride year that we sort we're sort of having in 2021 with the UK. So uh, it should be pretty interesting to see what's going to happen with those. Uh, but overall then, I think this is going to be a fantastic retheme for Elmer's Flying Jumbos. I think that a four-year partnership is right. Uh, now, there's no talk of there being an extensional year or an ex extensional couple of years. So I think at the end of the four-year partnership, if it goes very, very well, I would like to see it maybe as a permanent IP or maybe an extensional year or two. You look at Sonic Spinball, that opened in 2010, that was only meant to last until like 2014, 2015, and it sort of lasted an extra year. So by 2016, it was sort of changed back into, into Spinball Wizard. Um, you know, so it only, it only lasted a few years, and then like it kind of went like an extensional year kind of thing. So we thought it was going to end one year, and it sort of stayed that way for another year. So, you know, I'd like to see an extensional year to the Elmer IP if it goes successfully. Uh, but there we go, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video on Elmer's Flying Jumbos. Um, like I said, really excited about this. Thank you very much. My name is Aaron Channel. You're watching Ghost Chop. Please like, comment, subscribe, and click the coach bell. See you in this YouTube video. Keep on the coast of life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.